What is up, Bulls fans? Welcome back. The Chicago Bulls get the victory in their third straight game, beating the Houston Rockets 124 to 119 in a game where Zach Levine and Kobe White took over. The Bulls also played good defense, and we had a weird game where Andre Drummond actually got zero rebounds for the entire game. We're going to talk about all that, but first I want to say welcome to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. Yep, my name is Quentin. I'm your host, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you follow me on X at shy underscore town underscore Q, and also make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, smash that subscribe button so you join the family, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos, and with that, let's get right into it. The thing that helped the Bulls win this game is Zach Levine and Kobe White. But before we get into that, I want to talk about the bench. I want to give you their stats. They didn't do much, so we'll get through it quickly. Patrick Williams, 5 points, 1 assist. Desumu, 8 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. Andre Drummond, 4 points, 0 rebounds, 1 assist. And Dalen Terry, 3 points, 0 rebounds, 1 assist. The Bulls bench did not do much this game. Their starters are what helped them win. But, I mean, it's just a weird game seeing Andre Drummond not get rebounds. I think this is the third or fourth time in his career he didn't get a rebound in the game. And as one of the greatest rebounders in the NBA, it's weird to see him just not be able to get anything. Because it wasn't for a lack of minutes. He played this game. He just could not get the rebounds. They just were not going his way. So a funny stat to end the night with that. Luckily, it's a funny stat because the Bulls still won, right? They had control most of this game. Um, Sangoon did come during the fourth quarter and overtime to try to put it to the Bulls and make sure they got away with the victory. But he was not enough. The Bulls still got away with it because they were playing good, solid defense throughout the game. Um, one of the big things we saw from the starters, Alex Caruso, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, did an Alex type of night. He was everywhere on the floor making hustle plays and doing the things you want to see your players do that help your team win. You know, the things that you don't talk about, the things that people don't see if they're looking at the stat sheet. And that's the effort, the hustle, the getting around, telling people where they need to be, all of the small winning plays. Vucevic, 18 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists. He had a great night. He was shutting down Sangoon for most of the night. And also, he looked like he was comfortable with that little floater. And that's something I definitely want to see from Vooch. Having him be more comfortable, having him shoot that floater more consistently, and actually make it. Because honestly, one of the most irritating things in the world is seeing Vooch miss that damn shot, being 2 feet from the rim. So watching him start to make those, seeing him get a little bit more aggressive now that he's back in the roster, um, I have to say, even though the Bulls won, even though he played well, there was a couple of times he took some shots towards the end of this game that I didn't think he should take, right? He just shouldn't have been the one taking those shots, but he's a confident player. He's one of the stars, so you can't be too mad at him wanting to be the one who takes one of those shots every now and then. Just sometimes I feel like it's not his shot that should be being taken, right? DeMar DeRozan, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 6 for 6 from the free throw line, 3 for 6 from the three-point line. DeMar DeRozan starting to shoot threes at a pr pretty decent clip now, right? He's taking like three, four a game, and he's hitting at least two of them. This last week or so, I'm liking what I'm seeing. DeMar's actively looking to shoot that corner three. He looks more comfortable shooting the corner three. So hopefully we see more of that. And as usual, he got to the free throw line. He did what he's supposed to do there. But it was a great DeMar game. He didn't need to score too much. He scored what he needed to. But honestly... The reason he didn't need to score much is because the stars of this game, Zach Levine and Kobe White. We're going to start with Zach Levine first. Zach Levine, 25 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists, 8 for 15 from the field, 4 for 8 from the three-point line, 5 for 6 from the free throw line, 3 steals, and 1 block in this game. Zach was everywhere out there honestly we even got a point where Stacey King said there are like five Zacks out there and that's probably the first time he's ever said that about Zach Levine Zach Levine was active on defense active on offense and getting his teammates involved this is the type of Zach Levine us Bulls fans wanted the Zach Levine who doesn't take bad shots he looks for his teammates sometimes maybe he's overlooking for his teammates and passing up shots but I would rather him do that than make bad shots Zach has been fitting with this roster very well as of late the last couple of games you can see him actively trying to make sure he's working and that might be Zach auditioning for a new team right he knows that if he goes to somewhere else he's not going to be the star he's going to be playing this type of role where he's passing more where he's you know getting the shots in the flow of the offense and now he's showing he can do that but the thing I did not expect from Zach coming back from this was him playing defense to this extent 
right? I knew Zach would play better offense. I knew he could shoot off the catch and shoot. You know, he can score. He can do his thing. But to see Zach actively active on the defensive end, almost like when he was for Team USA, he knows that playing defense, playing consistently on the floor, making winning plays is going to help him going forward, trying to get to a new team. And that's what he's doing. He's doing the things he needs to do to be the player he needs to have other teams want to trade for him. But that's something I love to see is him playing well and also letting Kobe White still shine. He was taking shots. He was getting rebounds, almost getting a triple double, but he was looking to help Kobe. And you can see him visibly excited whenever Kobe did well. And, Honestly, that's because Kobe White had a game today, right? So final person we're going to talk about is Kobe White. Kobe motherfucking White. 30 points, 4 rebounds, 8 assists, 9 for 17 from the field, 6 for 11 from three-pointers, and 6 for 7 from the free throw line. Kobe White had a game. He took over this game and made it his own. Honestly, I think at the end of the third, he had 22 points on 12 shots. Not only is Kobe White starting to be very good at scoring, right? Not just shooting, but scoring in general, hitting his mid-range, getting to the rim, finding lanes. He's doing everything, right? Coming off of pick and rolls with Vooch, coming off screens and pulling up for the mid-range. He's confident, but he's doing it efficiently, right? And that's what you want to see from a young star. He's not playing really well because he's taking 30 shots. He's playing really well because he's taking smart shots and he's confident that he will hit them. And that's a great thing because not only is Kobe doing that, but you're starting to see Zach and Damar and Vooch do it as well. They're not just shooting the shoot. They're shooting when they're open. They're playing within the flow of the offense. But what a great game from Kobe White, making some amazing shots, making some great plays. And I love seeing this type of Kobe White game consistently. Kobe White is officially here. There is no one who can say Kobe White is not playing at an all-star level of play, right? Right now, he's probably in the most improved category, right? He's definitely in the all-star category if there's an injury. He could definitely be one of the people who make it in. He's just playing at a different level. He is truly developed into that point guard the Bulls need and I honestly love what I'm seeing I hope to see Kobe continue to grow on this team for years and years and years to come but amazing game by him the Bulls starters did what starters are supposed to do they came out they played well and they did the game the way the game should be done love seeing that what I want to do though is ask you guys a question how have you been feeling about Zach Levine the last couple games? Let me know how you feel about how he's fitting in with the team. But also make sure that you share this video with a friend. As I say, the more friends you share it with, the more subscribers. The more subscribers, the more I get to make these videos for you guys. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you next time. Y'all have a good night. Peace.